Hello, I'm Paul Webb, owner and proprietor of three restaurants in Hastings and Rye in East Sussex and tutor at Webb's Cookery School in Rye. And today I'm going to show you a really useful recipe. This is how to make salt and pepper squid. We've got our squid here. So we're just going to clean those up. And what we're going to do is just push our thumb in the wing part here and just pull all this away. We're going to cut above the eyes, squeeze this to extract the beak, we don't want that. And then we pull out the body and it's got this funny little bit of cartilage inside as well. And we're going to cut down just through one layer of the squid. Now these squids are nice and clean, sometimes you get them and they're actually full of sand and grit. So we're just going to scrape that clean there and on the outside as well. Just going to trim that edge. I'm going to now cut that in half and on the inside of the squid where it's slightly softer we're just going to score. So have the knife at an angle like that and we're cutting in a couple of millimetres, that's all. Turn it and then we're going to cut the other way. And as it cooks it curls up and almost gives you like a pineapple effect. Now the wings, we can use those. We're just going to scrape those clean as well. There's a little bit of muscle on the inside. I'm just going to shave that away there. So we've got all our in squid ready, scored to go there. All we have to do now is the little mix for it. I've got four tablespoons of corn flour, four tablespoons of plain flour just mixed together there. And the other primary ingredients are salt, Szechuan peppercorns, and I've got two little baby bird's eye chilies. These are the real hot variety to give it a kick. So what we're going to do is just grind these to a paste and just add that to our flour. Now once all those pieces are broken up much smaller, we're just basically left with a fine powder. We're going to add that to our flour. And we'll give that a little mix in there. And then it's just a case of rubbing the squid through this flour. And we're going to deep fry those. Hot oil, about 180 degrees Celsius. So the squid, now it's deep frying, it needs about just over one minute for it to crisp up nicely. And then we're going to remove it from the hot oil, put it onto some kitchen paper here, just to absorb any excess grease. Right, that's just about done there. We'll drain off some of that fat now. And then we we'll just serve that on this little dish here. See the way it's all curled up nicely where we've scored it. Right, so here's our salt and pepper squid. I've got some chilli jam, a little wedge of lime. Lovely. That is how you make salt and pepper squid. Mm -hmm.